next thing I want to kind of go over is, is how to prepare your levels for your um, rough mix and subsequently your final mix. You're going to go to your mixer window. If, if this tab is not there and you only see the editor tab, go to windows, select mixer, and it'll appear right there. You scroll all the way to the right and you find your master fader. This is the volume control basically that sends the signal from audition to your audio interface, whether it be your laptop speakers, whether it be your Yeti headphone output, whether it be whatever other audio interface you have. Okay. Now, when you're printing a mix, it takes the output of the master fader and it basically records the output of the master fader and creates that print of it. So it's important that whatever you do to re regulate levels, um, you do this at the end and you take measurements of, of your overall levels at the end. So you will see notes for when you hand in the rough mix that, that I'm telling you to add a hard limiter. And you go to compression, hard limiter, and I will give you some settings on uh, what to do there. It should always be in true peak, by the way. You set your hard limiter first. I'm gonna bypass that. And then after you put whatever additional metering you might need to verify your overall level. And in this case, I ask you to go to special and do loudness radar meter. In loudness radar meter, this is a really good tool for you to use to give you a average level for any type of broadcast, whether if you're getting an average level for streaming broadcast, for radio broadcast, for TV broadcast, and all of these have different standards. So you create, um, you start your playback area at the beginning of your commercial. You go to your loudness, you hit reset measures, and now you're gonna play the audio from the beginning to the end of your commercial. And once it gets to the end, hit the space bar again to stop. And then it's going to give you the average volume of your entire recording. If you determine that those levels are too soft, then you go to your mixer window, adjust your balances and your levels. Then you go back to your radar, you reset, and then you hit play from the beginning of the commercial and then you let it go until the end. And you have to reset it every time because um, this type of measurement takes basically a 10 second, it, it requires at least 10 seconds for you to create an average. And it'll keep averaging the level based on everything that is being fed to it. So if you're half an hour playing audio and making level changes and you keep playing and never resetting, you might have already reached and passed the level that you wanted but since you've kept making changes from half an hour ago when they were too low, it's keeping all that math in, in that average. So you, now you reset and then it starts a fresh calculation of your average. So let's, give, let's get an example of that. You work hard and play harder. Water can't give you back what you lose. H plus sport has what you need. Natural electrolytes from plants, not chemicals. H Plus Sport isn't made in a lab. Too much sugar dehydrates you and robs your energy when you need it most. H Plus Sport only has five grams. Everything you need, nothing you don't. H Plus Sport, natural rehydration. So this is telling me I have an average of negative 17.9. If I determine that I want an average of negative um, 14, which tends to be about the average for streaming, whether it be Spotify, YouTube, um, Tidal, then I need to raise the overall level 
a little bit to get there. So now I would maybe just bring up the music. Um, if you create stems, like I've shown you guys to do before, instead of having to go channel by channel, raising everything, now I can raise the dialogue by one decibel, all the music by one decibel, all the sound effects by one decibel. Reset. You, you can and should go to settings, set your target loudness to where you need it, where you're looking for. So let's say I want 14, so negative 14. Um, and I tend to put the peak at negative one. I don't really don't want anything getting above negative one. And I hit play. You work hard and play harder. Water can't give you back what you lose. H plus sport has what you need. Natural electrolytes from plants, not chemicals. H plus sport isn't made in a lab. Too much sugar dehydrates you and robs your energy when you need it most. H plus sport only has five grams. Everything you need, nothing you don't. H plus sport, natural rehydration. You were so now I raised everything one decibel and I went from 17.9, which is basically negative 18, to 16.5. So I increased the average level uh, by 1.5. I could continue raising each of these buses, but I'm already almost hitting zero. And that's kind of getting to the point where it's gonna start distorting. So that's when a hard limiter comes in. This is basically a mastering tool where I can, uh, I can dictate what's the maximum volume I want and let's say, I'm, like I mentioned, a peak of negative one. I don't want anything getting louder than negative one because it's going to get too close to zero and you're just kind of asking for trouble with distortion there. Now, if my average was 16.5, that means I'm about 1.5 to two decibels shy of hitting my average of, of negative 14. So let's do a input boost of two decibels. So as signal goes into the hard limiter, it's gonna boost it by two decibels. And like I said, the signal was already passing negative three, so adding two decibels will technically take it to zero and distort, but the maximum, maximum amplification won't allow it to get plus above uh, negative one. This is basically a compressor set to a hundred to one and nothing will get passed. And the attack on this is the quickest. You do have an option of release of 100 milliseconds. That's fine. The only thing you really should change is make sure you're in true peak, set your maximum amplification to negative one. And after you hand in your rough mix, I'll tell you what your input boost or how much more you need to change your level overall levels for that. And now you make sure it's on, reset, run it. Work hard and play harder. Water can't give you back what you lose. H plus sport has what you need. Natural electrolytes from plants, not chemicals. H plus sport isn't made in a lab. Too much sugar dehydrates you and robs your energy when you need it most. H Plus Sport only has five grams. Everything you need, nothing you don't. H Plus Sport, natural rehydration. So now we're much closer to negative 14 and I'd be just fine if, if you're about 0.5 from, from that plus or minus, okay? Now, when you look at the radar, you're seeing there's some green and some yellow. The, anything that's above that 14 setting target loudness is going to be on the yellow so you have that helpful gra graphical representation of when signals are above or below and now you can have a little bit of a history of what's above and below if you only have these two peaks that are above and the rest are below then you can go ahead and, and bump that 
input just a little bit more and get more of the average into the yellow. 